Slimy yet? <laughs> Satisfying. We all remember that moment from The Lion King, right? It may have been animated, but something about that sequence makes bugs look oddly satisfying. But what if we were to tell you that it wasn't just a work of fiction? These are tasty insects you can eat. Number 15. Honeypot Ants If the idea of eating ants makes you feel pretty queasy, you're not alone. Unless you live in Australia, where some people actually consider it to be a delicious dessert. Although, let's be honest, it probably can't compete with a chocolate cake. Much like bees, honeypot ants dedicate their lives to their colony, gorging themselves on nectar and honey until their abdomens expand to the size of a grape. Then, to feed the other workers, they will, I'm sorry to say this, share the digested food from their own mouths. That's gross. <laughs> Apparently, it's not enough to put off people in more arid areas of the world. Honeypot ants are a popular delicacy among Australia's native people and other regions of the world, including Mexico. Meanwhile, the rest of us get Cheetos and chocolate bars. I know which one I'd rather eat. Honeypot ants aren't another species of ant, but dedicated worker ants. Apparently, some people just can't resist that delicious taste of honey mixed with um, hard work? Sure, we'll go with that. Hard work. That's close enough. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Giant Water Bug Anybody that has ever visited or traveled through Southeast Asia will know that the food culture is quite different. But even the most adventurous palate will tell you that eating bugs is a challenge. Unless you're a native resident of the country, in which case it's probably just a Tuesday. In Thailand, the giant water bug is a popular food item, with their extracted essence often used for nam prick sauces. But if you're not quite in the mood for water bug sauce, you can always just eat the thing on its own. Apparently, some Thai restaurants deep fry them. And we all know that anything deep fried is automatically delicious. Naturally, this bug is hugely popular all over Asia, thanks to its versatile flavoring and the many ways to cook it. Or not cook it. Some people actually eat the bug raw, possibly even grosser than anything else on this list. Those that get to taste the giant water bug will tell you that it's one of the tastiest bites anywhere in Thailand. To quote one review, it's like watery scrambled egg mixed with licorice. That sounds, um, yum. Number 13. Weaver Ant some chefs like to top their salads with pine nuts, others prefer grapes, and naturally, some would instead top their salads with weaver ants, because apparently everybody just wants a little more natural protein in their salad. And when I say everybody, I do mean a select few. According to those that have tasted it, the weaver ant has a mild, sweet, and almost fruit-like flavor. Ant larvae and, uh, Ant larvae. Wait, did I say ant larvae? <laughs> Anybody familiar with food or cooking knows that mild flavors pair well with just about anything. And the weaver ant is, naturally, used in everything from soup to salad and even chocolate. If you really felt like it, you could probably come up with a 16-course menu focused entirely on the weaver ant. I don't know why you would like it, but I'm not here to judge your weekend activities. If you're open-minded enough, the weaver ant is considered to be one of the most delicious insects you could ever eat. And I think most people would rather eat a mild, sweet-tasting insect than, well, just about any other kind, right? I hope so. Number 12. Coconut Worms 
If you ask most non-Vietnamese people to name their favorite Vietnamese dish, they'll inevitably come back with pho. But true devotees to the Vietnamese food culture will give you a whole other answer. The coconut worm. Or something else, but we're going to pretend just for this topic. Coconut worms are pretty much exactly what you think. In Vietnam, these insects have often been considered pests due to their habit of infesting and eating coconuts. At some point, the Vietnamese came up with a creative solution to dealing with these little nightmares. And that solution was lunch. The coconut worm's flavor is, perhaps unsurprisingly, sweet, with some people comparing it to the taste of crab. Although I don't imagine many people are looking for coconut worm sticks, not yet anyway, people in Vietnam often pay up to 25,000 Vietnamese dong for a single coconut worm. That comes out to about one American dollar, which is still a crazy price for a single worm. I think I'll stick to my pasta, thank you. According to just about everyone that has actually eaten it, the coconut worm is delicious. Which is good, because if you're willing to save up some cash for a handful of… worm? You better hope you enjoy it. Number 11. Tarantula If you're someone with a severe case of arachnophobia, the idea of people eating dead spiders will put you in one of two camps. Either you'll be thrilled about them being dead, or you'll just sit there and think, there isn't enough money in the world to make me eat that thing. There's also a third camp of I want a nap, but everybody's always in that camp. <laughs> In Cambodia, there's no delicacy more popular than the fried tarantula. Usually rolled in sugar or garlic, these guys can be found in street vendors' carts all over the country. Apparently, there's something delicious about the idea of taking a deadly poisonous spider and wrapping it in sugar. Gordon Ramsay has openly called it gross, but what does he know? In fact, the fried tarantula has a significant place in history. Having kept Cambodians alive during the reign of Pol Pot's Khmer Rouge, one of the most brutal periods in Cambodian history. Today, of course, the fried tarantula is popular with locals and tourists alike. Although I still have no idea where the arachnophobes sit. Would you eat it, spider haters? Let us know in the comments below, or just post a bunch of letters and end it with a no. That's good too. Number 10. Lemon Ants if you ever happen to find yourself lost in the rainforest of Ecuador, you'll probably realize pretty fast that there are no good dining options. Apparently, McDonald's and Uber Eats just don't see much point in focusing on the Ecuadorian wilderness. Seems like an odd business decision, but that's on them, I guess. However, if you do find yourself in this unusual situation, it's not all bad news. If you really do need to find some food, look no further than the lemon ants. Yeah, like, wow, they are there, they are there. Yeah. How to bite them? If it's not, they... These little brown insects are named for their uniquely tangy, almost citric taste. I don't think any of us really expected that from an ant, but our universe is full of surprises, right? And even better, eating one of these will not kill you. Actually, it may have some nutrients that your body desperately needs. Don't quote me on that, I have no scientific evidence to back it up, but sure. So to reiterate, if you ever find yourself lost in the empty middle of the Ecuadorian rainforest without food, just pull a twig off one of those trees before you and enjoy. Although don't expect a full meal, ants aren't exactly big on calories. Number 9. Termites while many of the insects on our list tend to be regional delicacies, termites may be one of the most widespread. These little things are eaten on at least three different continents, and probably more. And perhaps most surprisingly, they're very, very good for you. Termites are actually high in amino acids, an essential component for our body's health. And thanks to their high protein and fat content, not to mention their prevalence in rural areas around the world, they're often used 
to help with malnutrition. Typically, termites are cooked in a pan, though it's not uncommon to fry them or just eat them raw. According to those who have tried this delicacy, the termite's high oil content leaves it with a uniquely nutty taste. That's not exactly what I would have expected, but then I probably wouldn't have tried the insect in the first place. I am, after all, uncultured. I imagine most people would recoil in horror if they were asked to eat a termite. But apparently, it's not a bad snack. And maybe if you dipped it in chocolate, it'd taste like a Hershey's termite. Hey, there's an idea. Number 8. Wood lice. At this point, I feel I need to answer the question you're all thinking. Who decided to try and eat one of these things? I have absolutely no idea, but I guess some people have to fill their day somehow, right? Yes, apparently there are people in this world that eat and enjoy wood lice. And as it turns out, as long as they're cooked properly, the wood louse can turn out to be a very nutritious and tasty snack. Wood lice must be boiled to ensure that all the undesirable bacteria are killed. But the taste is apparently not all that different to shrimp, which sounds like a frankly insane sentence. But hey, that's the job, and I will someday get used to it. Just not today. Like all insects, the wood louse is not incredibly filling, so don't expect to replace a steak with a wood louse. Most of us would do anything to keep wood lice out of our house, but I don't imagine many people ever considered cooking and eating them. If you really want to enjoy some extra protein and don't mind the potential risk of serious illness, go to town. Although I guess that could apply to really anything. Number 7. Stink box. If you thought garlic gave you bad breath, just wait for this one. Around the world, stink bugs are well known as being serious pests for many farmers and their animals. But for some Mexican chefs, stink bugs are a culinary curveball to be celebrated. Just maybe don't breathe on anybody afterward. In indigenous Mexican cuisine, stink bugs are a favorite ingredient, bringing an unusual and most unique flavor to the dish. Of course, the flavor is so unique that nobody can really agree on how exactly it tastes, with some claiming it tastes like cinnamon. In contrast, others reference a more bitter and medicinal flavor, whatever it tastes like. There's no denying that this insect is rich in vitamins and nutrients, so even if you hate it, you'll feel good about it. Unless the thought of eating stink bugs makes you sick, in which case you're kind of screwed either way. The idea of eating stink bugs is probably worse than the actual experience, as it seems the notorious stink doesn't really factor into the taste. It's not like eating a stink bomb, which by the way is an experience nobody should go through. I once saw a guy burp an actual green cloud. It was gross. Number 6. Earthworms would you eat an earthworm? It sounds like one of the most unpleasant experiences you could ever imagine, but some cultures truly celebrate this most… dirty of insects. In fact, earthworms are probably consumed more than chicken in some parts of the world. In southern Venezuela, the Yiquana people consume earthworms regularly, gathering them from the mud, gutting and boiling them. Or if they're feeling particularly motivated, smoking them and selling them at a high cost. You have to admire that kind of business model. Of course, it's not surprising to know that earthworms have a lot of nutrition about them, thanks to their constant wriggling, they're high in protein, as well as iron and amino acids. Not to mention zinc, manganese, calcium, and copper. They're basically a superfood when you think about it. Why the heck aren't we eating these things? Communities worldwide happily consider themselves earthworm eaters and often reap the many health benefits from this unusual superfood. Although, I'll be honest, I'm still not totally on board with eating them. I'll leave that to, well, anybody else. Number 5. Grasshoppers Naturally, any animal that moves around a lot is going to be high in protein. But grasshoppers, or crickets, are a whole other level of nutrition. These insects are so notoriously protein-packed that you can actually buy cricket powder or cricket flour in stores. 
Assuming, of course, that you don't want to make your own, because honestly, who would? While it's easy enough to find grasshoppers just about everywhere, it's a little harder to prep them for eating. Grasshoppers can carry nematodes, a toxic parasite that, well, is not good for you. I don't think I really have to say anything more than that. For this reason, many people just prefer to buy store-bought grasshoppers. I mean, honestly, who has the time to be removing the entrails of grasshoppers and doing the rest of the necessary preparation? There's already so much going on in our world. Nobody has time for that. Look, of all the insects globally, grasshoppers are probably one of the most socially acceptable to eat. People are more than willing to accept the grossness of eating insects if it means that they have just a little more protein. Gotta make those gains, bruh. Number 4. Cockroach Yup, you knew it was coming, and yet, it's still one of the most disgusting sounding things. People do eat cockroaches, and it's actually becoming something of a niche culinary market. I don't really know how we're supposed to react to that, but gross. Chinese chefs have often claimed that eating cockroaches is incredibly beneficial for humans for one key reason. Cockroaches have excellent immunity. Therefore, if humans eat them, they will absorb some of that strength. Is that true or scientifically backed up? No. But I'm not about to tell a whole country of people that their culture is inaccurate. Cockroaches can be eaten, both cooked and raw, dead or alive. Yeah. Some people are so open-minded, they don't even have to think about it. Oh, it's still alive? Great, that's dessert all prepped. Thanks, Kyle. Of course, cockroaches are often used for medicinal purposes, including a solution for stomach ulcers and respiratory tract problems. So I guess what I'm saying is that this is a very practical insect to eat. It's highly unlikely you'll be seeing people eating live cockroaches anytime soon, but if you do, just remember that they're incredibly nutritious and will probably cure any and all ailments you may have. Or I'll just end up feeling a little queasy. Number 3. Cicadas Believe it or not, this large fly-like insect is actually more similar to shrimp and lobsters than, well, flies. Like crabs and other shellfish, the cicada is an arthropod, which means it has an exoskeleton. And as we know, people have no problems eating anthropods. Like pretty much all edible insects, the cicada is highly nutritious, with a high protein and low body fat. The magic cicada, as an example, spends 17 years underground eating on plant roots. Only then do they come up to the surface to shed their skin, where they inevitably wind up being cooked and eaten by curious humans. Notable recipes for cicadas range from quiche to chocolate cake to skewered cicada. There's really no limit to the kind of things you could do with this insect. Except, you know, making a burger out of it or something. Actually, you could probably do that too. The cicada is one of the most versatile ingredients in the insect community, suitable for just about any recipe you could think up. Or just take a regular old shrimp recipe and use whatever insect you can find around the house. Recycling is good for the world, and assuming you don't kill yourself in the process, maybe you'll also end up with some extra nutrients. Number 2. June Bug June bugs are among some of the largest insects you can find in nature, but that just means they're more bang for your bite. If you can stomach it, that is. Goodness knows there's a whole lot of unique recipes and ways to eat it. There have been instances of people enjoying June bugs on pizza, which must be one of the most unusual toppings available anywhere in the world. Next to pineapple, obviously. That's messed up. June bugs are big business throughout Asia, with companies dedicated to collecting, freezing, cleaning, and dehydrating them to sell worldwide. I mean, who doesn't want to enjoy some dehydrated bug? 
It's loaded with protein and calcium, and where else are you going to get any of that? Hell, for all we know, maybe they want to be eaten like a snack. I can't tell you how June bugs think. Giant June bugs are probably not one of the most popular insects out on the market, but they are known for their crunchy and unique taste. So I guess if you want to enjoy a nice, unexpected pizza topping or snack, this really is what you want to get. Number 1. Dragonfly I know! Who in their right mind would want to eat a dragonfly? They're so weedy, there's not even any meat on their tiny little bodies. That's absolutely true, but they're still very much edible in whatever form they may be. Dragonflies come in two stages, nymph and adult. Both are edible, although they're much easier to catch when they're in their young nymph stage. The adult dragonflies are fast and highly agile, making them all but impossible to capture, unless you're starving and want it enough. And when you do eventually manage to capture one of these little things, you must cook it for a matter of seconds just to kill off any potential germs. Because, you know, while they may be lovely and delicate and whatever, they are still insects, and insects are gross. It's like... I don't know, it's very really light, man. Sorry to all you insect lovers out there. Of all the insects that you can eat, the dragonfly was probably not on your list. It's odd to think of such a small and thin insect even being considered for a snack. But I guess the old saying is true, you really can make a meal out of anything. Have you ever eaten any of these insects? Or would you consider trying any of these? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.